four different buildings all combined into one. The building is really not in that bad of shape. Grand worship hall, auditorium place. They still have all these like choir outfits in here. This feels like I'm in like some sort of grand old hotel. Look at this one. Wow. What is good? I am still down here in Texas. This time we're gonna do this absolutely massive, massive abandoned church. This was the first Baptist church of Beaumont. The building itself was built back in about 1924. And back in about 2012 or the early 2000 teens, the church moved locations because the building started to fall under disrepair and it was beginning to get too expensive to maintain it and I believe it's been abandoned roughly ever since then. Here it is right here. Now, what makes this one unique as opposed to the other churches I've done on this trip is that this one is just absolutely massive. This thing is straight up like four different buildings all combined into one. If we can just find one way in there, then this is truly gonna be something special. Now, when I was plotting and planning everything for this trip, this one was one of my like pivotal ones. This is one of the ones that made me when I come here. I'm guessing this giant building here would be where the main worship hall is. What's this I see? What's this I see? People have geniusly made a way in, but then they had this looking from a distance like it was still shut up. One of my favorites. Got it. Sweet. So with this being like four huge buildings in one, this is either gonna be really easy to navigate or really difficult. So the biggest building, the one that I assume will have the grand hall, is this way. So I say we go ahead and try to find that. You're gonna see all sorts of different droppings and stuff from people camping out here, like, like bikes over there, food and drinks and shoes and clothes. I'm guessing the general gist of this room would have just been like a big lobby type area. Yeah, and then we just cross into another building, I guess. You know how I said this was either going to be really easy or really hard to navigate? I think it's going to be really hard. Whoa. Old storage of tables and chairs and speaking podiums. Yellow carpet. Building is really not in that bad of shape. These would probably be the grand front doors. And here it is. Here it is indeed. Grand worship hall, auditorium place. Like, look at me. I just straight up, like, just stopped even filming. I just want to sit here and take this all in. This carries kind of like the same, uh, same weight, same uh, meaning to me as uh, when I find like a really awesome looking auditorium and like a school. The stained glass doesn't show up very well on camera though. If I zoom in, you can see kind of how colored and yellowed it is. This may wind up being the final one on the trip because I'm kind of running out of stuff to do or stuff that would really be like high quality type stuff. But if I have to end the trip on this note, then I may be all right with that because this place is, this is awesome. Listen to how pitch quiet it is in here. It's just peaceful. Look, I found the old pair of cymbals because there would have inevitably been uh, some sort of like drum set somewhere. Probably right there, that's probably why that area is a little bit higher risen. And what I read up on is that the church moved locations back in 2012. It kind of implied that the building hasn't been used since then, but it's in such good shape, I really don't believe that this has been left for, for 11 years. Like, this is not 11 years of decay. You know what I want to see is the baptism tub. I wonder if they would have had red seats up here too, or if it was just kind of these uh, stadium bleacher looking things. This way will be the tub. Here it is. What a grand place. There are still tables full of Bibles down there. I'm gonna go look at those. Look at that. 
They're all still there. Just as they were left. And you know I'm not missing that awesome detail up on the ceiling. Those rims. I wonder if there would have been like some really fancy light fixtures. There aren't any anymore. I'm sure it's been changed up a little bit since the 1920s when they first started building this, but it still looks so retro. Remember the two biggest front facing buildings both kind of had the same grand front facade, so there is a chance that there may be a big worship hall in one of the others also. And here's more of those drums. This is some sort of musical room. Look at the walls or carpet for absorbing sound. And there's these risers, like a choir performance. It's way back behind the stage though, so it, it must be like some sort of practice room, I'm guessing. Books and magazines that have been ransacked. Look at this. That's amazing. Those are choir robes. They still have all these like choir outfits in here. Anything else? This is a big back office. These are just all these uh, little black boxes here would just be full of uh, musical stuff. I think like the sheet music maybe, and just other little hymn books and songs and worship lessons and everything. I was saying it before in a, a couple videos ago how until I came and did this trip down here on the Gulf in Texas, how I'd really only done like maybe one or two like churches in my life. And now that I've been here, I've done like a bunch of them and they've been like really cool places. But it's just funny how there's such an abundance of abandoned churches down here. And then I saw this before I walked in there. Big like organ style thing. I've never seen one like this. With the buttons on the side like that. There's even functions down there too. This thing is so complex. I don't know how people play these. How do you memorize that many keys? Like that's gotta take like so much dedication. It's the building just keeps on going. Although, I happen to know in this building, there is a lot more space that goes farther back, at least on like the ground levels. Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be. There's a map. Oh yeah, that really does show the whole building. That's cool. See, so yeah, I was right. We're back in this hallway right now, I believe. We're probably gonna be able to wrap back around. We'll get back to the building next to the one we entered in. So we will have covered most of that, and then there'll just be nothing left but the other two buildings and the upper floors. Look at those footprints. Even I've been making some. It's so dusty. I guess because hardly anyone's ever able to get in here. Maybe I got crazy lucky. Because you'd think there'd be more foot travel than this. I only see like one or two pairs. That nice little secretly pried back board. This is so cool though, look how grand this stairway is. Wow. Oh, look at this. Media center. That'd be like uh, the church's version of, yeah, a library. There are actually still books here too. That's wild. Baptist hymnals and junior hymnals. It really is like a full library. I always like these revolving things. This one is burnt. There is fire in here. Ironically, near the Christmas decorations. Probably just a homeless person's campfire got out of control. That's what happens a lot in these places. This must have been the children's section of the library. Got all the kids' books. You got Dora and Elmo and all sorts. This feels like I'm in like some sort of grand old hotel. This stairway. Oh, wow, that's where I got in. I went in a big circle, didn't I? This is kind of a cool office setting though. It's still got the chairs and the table. Furniture collection room. 
I see computers and TVs over there, dresser tables, file cabinets, and a kid's ATV. Look at the size of that map. The thing would have literally been on the entire wall somewhere in here. Oh my god, look at that. That is trippy. Look at that soaked table just bending under the weight of all those heavy computers. That one's just hanging on. Parlor. That's so nice. Oh, it's, it's got that vibe to it, you know? That kind of untouched, left for dead kind of vibe. Everything from the crazy dusty tables with like their little decorations still on there to like the, the fancy little dressed up drapes up there. I found something just like this in that other church I did a couple weeks ago. I wonder how that's possible. Like you can see the dust ring where this thing would have sat and all the others are doing it too. Like, it's like they're slowly but surely moving. Like what is even moving them? Imagine the last time anyone touched that table because that's all dust. Conference room. Not very big. Look at that mirror. I remember the last time I found one of those. Prayer Warriors Battle Station? What on earth does that mean? Like, it makes it sound like the church had like a... Like some sort of sports team. Oh, I was right. I was totally right. This place does have multiple worship halls. Look at this one. Look at this one. Wow. It's just about as grand as the other one. Man, I wonder which hall was used for what. Like, maybe there was one for like adults, one for youth, something like that. I know the, the youth was a major part of this church. A lot of their stuff was kind of dependent on them and their program. I guess this was definitely its own building. Again, I'm so turned around as far as which part of this place I'm even in that who knows. All right, here is a very distinct calendar right there. This is 2016. That would make more sense. There are probably very loose uses of this building for church services even after the official title of First Baptist Church had moved away. Found a nursery, some sort of little kid's room. We're back to that fire area. Only I guess what would have been above it had it's torched. I was gonna say, it looked like we were getting close to those stairs again, and there they are. But the thing is, I also just keep finding more cool stuff that I haven't seen yet. Look at these baby cribs. All right, let's go up. I know I have not seen floors much higher than this. I'm not expecting there to be much up here, but who knows? Oh, that brings back so many memories. The sparks. That's part of a VBS program that even I used to do as a kid. I didn't know it was spread out so nationwide like that. That's what it was called, it was called the Wana. That brings back so many memories. Anyone else do that? It was like a summer program for uh, youth at their local churches. And it's kind of like I assumed. These upper floors are pretty bare. This whole building had that Awana decoration on it though. I'm kind of seeing it all over. That might have been its last use. This is different. It's all been carpeted, except for this one. Grand front staircases. All right, where is this gonna go? Cause I see another big couple of double doors here. Every time I've gone through double doors in this place, it's been something really cool, so. Ah, oh, we're back to the balcony of this one. Got it. Honestly, with how I keep going around in circles, I think that's about it. I think I've seen this place about to the best of my abilities. I honestly have no clue how I never ran into anyone else here. 
I thought for sure there'd be some people camping out here or just even other people exploring it with that one board not being there. That really is so clever. You'd never be able to tell that was open if you're just coming at it straight on like this. Well, that was an absolutely awesome place, just exactly like I was hoping it would be. Um, I have no clue if I'll be able to pull anything else off here on this Texas trip, but you know I'll definitely try if there's any more options, but I'll either see you next week with a new Texas video, or maybe I'll be somewhere completely different. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace.